Now, when it comes to George Washington's favorite dish here at Francis Tavern, it's reported to be the chicken pot pie. But when it comes to desserts, I cannot tell a lie. If you want to learn how to make our founding father's favorite, you're going to have to head to Greenpoint. Mmm. In my opinion, the biggest player in the city's pie scene can be found right here on Driggs. Pie Corps made its name as a gourmet market food, but after so much success, they have opened an actual shop. They started off making savory pies, but have segued beautifully into the sweet zone. And it is here where you can get schooled on baking the perfect pie. We do two to three classes a month. Our best-selling class is a class we call the Pie Crust Intensive, where actually every student makes an apple pie from scratch and gets to take home a delicious pie, plus they get great recipe and great instruction. But today, in honor of our very first president, we are here to make this. We actually, we make cherry pie with sweet cherries and with sour cherries. Today, we're going to make them with sweet. Okay. Um, these already have the pits taken out of them. I'm going to show you how to take the pit out. Put a little pressure on it, squirts a little juice. But what that does is it loosens up the stone inside. And you don't have to, like, carve it out. Exactly. Here we go. Look at that, I'm learning tricks, I'm learning tricks. Comes right out. Comes right out, people. Put the Look pit on the side there, Boom. bowl goes in the thing. We use two pounds of cherries per pie. We actually use organic evaporated cane juice. Nice. It's not quite as sweet as regular sugar, kind of gives a little bit of depth to the pie overall. The next thing that we use is just a little bit of cinnamon. It's like a quarter teaspoon. The next thing we have is lemon juice. It's about two tablespoons. And our last ingredient is actually our secret ingredient. It's this, it's the ingredient you can can't tell what it is because it has no color. It has no color. Um, and that is almond extract. So you know, people mm -hmm. always say, do you have rose in this pie or is there something really? floral? And it's from the almond. Cheryl filled it up, added her top secret crumble, and after it chilled, brushed it with an egg wash, then popped it into the oven. 45 minutes later, with the magic of TV, it was time to try my cherry pie. I've been dieting in anticipation of this very moment, people, for weeks. Let the pie enter the pie hole in three, two, one. I don't think George Washington ever had a pie this good. Yeah, I don't think he did either. No, I don't think so. You know what? I'm not going to take your class. No. I'm just going to come by and buy pie. That sounds good. Mmm.